Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL Season 16 Hostile League Round of 16 Group A. We're in the final matches, Game 1, which I did not mark and I'm not going to bother, but just keep in mind, Game 1 went to Doodle, so if Sexy drops this, this match, Doodle will advance. So his life is on the line. I cannot do a color swap. Apologies, but bottom left-hand corner in the dark or midnight blue, however you want to call it, we have Doodle. To make it sound different, I will say we have the Periwinkle Protoss, which is nice alliteration as well. In the bottom right-hand corner, this is going to be on Neil Silphid. Neil Silphid, a rampless map at the natural. So, and I've definitely seen Reaver, early two gate Reaver, three gate Fragoon play uh, have a lot of success on this map. In particular, if you get to the natural expansion where you just bunch in the Dragoons. And I feel like having that early pressure where you're able to get the Dragoons out and play from there um, allows you to get that expansion a follow up, even if your opponent, basically, whoever takes the initiative, I feel like ends up having more success nine times out of ten when I see this on Neo Sulfid in PvP. I have yet to see, which, except unless you're playing DeWalt, but DeWalt's kind of the edge case, so don't use DeWalt. Uh, as your standard PvP, whatever. And I, I think I've even seen DeWalt go a little bit aggressive on this map. Time and time again. Initial scout moving out for Doodle. Looks like he is going to end up coming across Sexy's base first. Let's see if Sexy opens up the two gate once again. I feel like it looks like he's actually already dropped his gas. Gas on the opposite side. So both players opening up with gas builds. I have seen two gate openers be successful on this as well. Bana style. Gonna wander in. And first scout. I think seeing that probe's trajectory lets Sexy know his direction. No first sell it. Well, we'll see if there's a first sell it. I'm calling it a little bit early as the minerals aren't quite there yet, but we do have that cybernetics core being built. I think there's gonna be a skip of first sell it based on what's been scouted overall, probably on both ends. Nope, I take it back. There's the first sell it here. No initial sell it there for Sexy as of yet. That could, even that little bit, second gateway dropped, even that little bit actually might be enough to give Sexy the oomph that's needed to get a few more Dragoons out and take possession of game control moving forward. So Cybernetics Core is finished. The other critical thing is, is that gas time, or the, uh, sorry, range timing on the Dragoons. So first Zealot making its way out. The probe, I believe, has scouted, yeah, has scouted the two gateway. Range being upgraded. This is remaining si Okay, now being built opposite end. That probe trying to cycle around, but no second gateway as of yet for Doodle. Able to sneak a, an additional probe. And you can see where that having that Zealot out in the field where it's really not doing a lot for him is actually going to cost him quite a bit here as that second gateway is now up. Range is finishing, or is, uh, is cycling. That probe really can't, isn't denied. This gateway is coming out much, much later. Range, at least, is going to be... It, it shouldn't be a factor. They should finish cross-map. Doodle does have that pro, two-probe lead. But again, I think Dragoon pressure might be worth it here. That probe being denied, it looks like it's just going to try to return home. But no, the Zealot gets the kill. Probe opposite end from Doodle going to return back to home base. Now we'll see if there's a three-gate... I assume there's not going to be a three-gate follow-up. I'm expecting two gate robo out of this from Sexy. Doodle continuing to macro up. I wouldn't be shocked to see him just go for two gate expand. Holding in more at offensive posture right now. He is cycling up the minerals, was cycling up the minerals to go that direction, but hitting another round of Dragoons right there. Pile of Dragoons blocking that natural expansion to deny information. Citadel of a Dune follow up for Sexy. So he wants to maybe go for a quick DT counter, but a robo has been plopped down from Doodle, and now this might turn into a build order victory for Doodle as long as he goes observatory. But I'm not going to call it just as of yet, as the Dragoons are still being pumped. That Zealot could be a defensive nil factor here for Doodle, depending on positioning. Doodle actually retreating out of his natural expansion. And the Dragoons filing in. And the other thing is, is with this Dragoon pressure, that might encourage Doodle 
to in fact open up robotic support bay. So a little bit of engagement, the Zealot peeling forward. Ooh, one of the Dragoons almost getting picked off over that peak corner. This is a closer reinforcement point, and mm, that's not a winning combination. Should just deny that natural and fan out. Let's see with Dragoons at his natural if he... So he's dropped some pylons to the corner. He is going to open up Observatory. Closer reinforcement point currently, and Sexy not being very disciplined with his Dragoon positioning. And as a result, some free shots out there for Doodle. Two Dark Templar now in production. Robotic support bay to follow. The other question will be, where does this Observer go? Sometimes the Observer goes straight to the main. Ends up missing the DT altogether. Supply lead overall for Doodle. There was a probe cut for Sexy. Going to drop the Nexus with those DT to cover. Initial, and actually opening up that Lurker Egg to provide a little bit more movement. The Observer is going out towards the Natural first to get a look at the Dragoon count, but is it going to find the Dark Templar across the path? It's going to be very, very close. It looks like the Dark Templar are making a beeline. The Observer just about there. They do see the Dark Templar in flight, but was it recognized? The Observer is not. Okay, now it's turning around. The gap needs to be plugged. Second Observer out. Both Dark Templar wiped out, and actually that is huge. With both Dark Templar down and a big supply lead for Doodle, if he wanders up with his Observer and notices a lack of Dragoons, that might trigger him to go ahead and apply pressure to this Nexus. And especially with the two Observers, he can go ahead and get that Nexus up and maybe inflict some damage on the opposite end. We'll see if he opts to do so, or if he wants to just play it defensively, still economically ahead, so he actually doesn't need to play aggressive if he doesn't want to at this stage. And with that Reaver out, he could probably leave that Reaver at home base, move out with the attack forces, but it looks like he is going to hold strong. Shield batteries being dropped. Yeah, just the threat. So Sexy recognizes it, drops double shield batteries upon losing the Dark Templar to negate that threat. So his next is going to come online earlier. But there is that 200 resource investment on the front and also an informational disadvantage now as it's going to be quite a while before a robotics facility is planted and that's going to give Doodle all the information in the world into his opponent's natural. Are we seeing, we are seeing a speed shuttle upgrade, a forge drop and a citadel of Adun as well. This could be a tricky situation here where if Doodle makes his way to DT and there's no detection spotted all the way around, you could end up with counter DTs inside Sexy Space and that'd be GG. On top of that, with the speed shuttle, DTs could end up just dropped right into the main. And so there wouldn't be any plug at the natural expansion to try to mitigate the damage and get detection up. And I think that is going to be the play here. For Doodle overall, if not, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, going to be honest. So shuttle under construction. Are we going to see the Templar Archives? There's the Templar Archives. One Dragoon just spotting what it can on the front. Sexy just has to wait for Doodle to make maneuvers. Four gates up on his end of the map versus the two gates, so he does have superior production. Photon Cannon in the main, just in case. That's very precautious. A little bit unnecessarily precautious here on uh, Doodle's part, but it's resources he can afford to drop. Shuttle actually moving out with the Reavers here. Templar Archives finishing. I'm wondering if Doodle was just like, nah, I'm just going to go forward. Take pot shots at a distance with Reaver advantage. Another option for him. I really want to see the Dark Templar shuttle play engagement at the natural the shield batteries have their work cut out for them here eating some splash damage and that might be it right here didn't even need the dark templar so ignore all my earlier commentary about where that would have been useful because this could be the game ending maneuver just having overwhelming amounts of reavers pushing in sexy down on the worker count shoved 
things in. Reaver is eating splash damage on all corners. And the shuttle micro just overwhelming. I hope that shuttle gets preserved, actually, if this gets cleaned up. I don't think it's going to, though. Natural expansion breach. Sexy's still trying to produce off the four gateways to clear this out, but he's got too large a Dragoon advantage now. That's GG. I do want to check if Dark Templar... Yeah, okay, Dark Templar were being built, which I appreciate. So it was kind of the follow-up killing blow if the first killing blow was going to be insufficient. Sexy eliminated, unfortunately. I feel like in another bracket here, he might have been someone who had advanced. But Doodle, definitely one of the guys I could see ending up in the round four, if not the finals, especially the way he's playing right this second. So Doodle Fisheye looking strong, Attentat out of this group looking strong. We'll move on to group B. If you guys liked it out on YouTube land, please give... The like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Need to figure out a different like ending, whatever, but I'll I'll work on it and we'll get I'll I'll keep thinking about that one. But regardless, thank you guys for listening.